Hello and welcome to official Xbox 360 Magazine's OXM Report and you're about to be served with an interview about EA Sports Grand Slam Tennis 2. I'm here with Thomas Singleton, he's the line producer on Grand Slam Tennis 2. Now, this game's been in development for a while, why has it taken so long to get to the Xbox 360? Uh, well, we came out uh, back in 2009 on the Wii with Grand Slam Tennis, the original. We've been waiting and there's been a lot of other products that we've been working on. Uh, finishing off those with the success of Fight Night Champion, so we've got a team that in Fight Night Champion, after that product was shipped, that is now working on this product um, and bringing a lot of that magic over here. So, um, tell me about the, uh, the the new sort of visual style. You're going for proper photorealism, right? Absolutely. So when you look at the the stylization that we went with on the Wii uh, to the into what we're doing on Xbox 360, it's photo real. Uh, we want consumers to feel as if they're live watching a tennis match on TV. So Grand Slam Tennis 2 is all about the Grand Slam tournaments. Tell me what tournaments you have in the game. Um, well, exclusively we've got Wimbledon obviously, we've got Australian Open, Roland Garros and US Open, uh, which gets us the right with the ITF to actually use the term Grand Slam. So tell me about your uh, commentary team because you've got McEnroe and Cash. How have it, has it been to work with those guys? Uh, it's been spectacular. They're both extremely stand-up guys, uh, somewhat entertaining extremely entertaining right uh, very knowledgeable about the game they've actually had a lot of contributions to a lot of the play styles and, and the authenticity of our players etc on top of just being entertaining in the booth and providing a lot of uh, education entertainment or edu ed edutainment <laughs> if you want to call it uh, so it's been pretty cool um, in terms of uh, motion capture and stuff, obviously they're very sort of lifelike recreations of the tennis players. Who have you been motion capturing with? Uh, our motion capture team uh, that we use to, to capture the motion for Grand Slam Tennis 2 uh, were amateur players that uh, also have a, a bit of a knack for uh, acting. Like mimicry. Uh, mimicry. Uh, much like Novak would mimic a lot of the actual pro players on the tour, uh, we found some great talent uh, to actually do that for us, to capture the essence and the, the subtleties and the motions of each of our licensed players. Because that's a, a key thing, isn't it? Getting the personality across. Absolutely. And it doesn't stop at the motion. Uh, it also it gets into the audio, the sound design. Uh, a lot of the players like Sharapova sound like Sharapova for a reason because we did our homework. Uh, or they have tendencies of, uh, you know, they may get a, they get a little emotional throughout a match and if things don't go quite their way like Johnny Mac, uh, you know, a, a racket may hit the, the, the grass at Wimbledon, right? Yeah. Like it or hate it, it's in the game, right? So in terms of the AI, and you'll you'll be able to tell those personalities in terms of the way the players play on the court as well, right? Absolutely. So we've got a new system within the product uh, we're calling Pro AI. Uh, it's got professionalism, realistic movements and styles and tactics, and uh, in an organic nature that adapts to the way that you play. So from a professional standpoint, players will uh, mimic their own styles. Uh, they'll look just like themselves. From a realistic standpoint, they'll they'll be in classes that they are in real life, whether it's a offensive baseliner, defensive baseliner, all court, serve and volley style player like a Johnny Mac, uh, they'll play just like themselves. And from an organic standpoint, if I continue to beat my opponent with a particular shot, like a forehand shot down the, the line, well, they'll stay away from my forehand. Or they'll anticipate the forehand shot coming down the sideline uh, over time. So tell me about the total racket control. What, what's the rundown of the stick? Uh, total racket control is, is literally putting the racket on the right stick, right? So you've got all the different shot types from a flat, slice, topspin, all in the thumb, okay? Uh, in your left analog, you're actually moving your character around. And it's simplest to control a, a flat shot, you're simply pushing up, okay? And you're pushing in the direction you want the ball to go in. So not only is it selecting your shot type, but also your shot placement. Uh, in order to hit top spin shots, you're simply pulling back on the right analog stick and then pushing forward. Slices, pulling back and releasing, kind of like a pinball mechanic to hit a slice shot. So you guys haven't quite decided when the game's coming out yet. Are you, are we, can we expect it to arrive around the time of one of these big tournaments? I think that would be a logical choice. We're definitely coming out in 2012. Uh, where in 2012 is, is what we're still trying to figure out where we want to be. Excellent, Thomas, thank you very much. You're very welcome.